Hello, I got this digital readout from Banggood. You may already seen my review video about, otherwise check for the link below. It work awesome, fast and accurate, and work with it is pleasure. But one day my y-axis linear scale died, it only shown the last decimal. Firstly I tried to plug scale on x and z axis, so I was sure that the problem is in scale not in readout. I contacted Banggood and got new scale in few days from European Warehouse, so I can continue with work. As you can see in the review video I need to shorten the scale, but I don't want to cut also the new scale, so I disassembled both scales and replace component by component. Firstly I take only housing and glass from old one, and it work. Then I replace the cable from old one and still work. When I take the reader from old one, it still work, but when I take the circuit board from old one, it didn't work anymore. So the fail is clearly into circuit board, and I'll try to fix that in today's video. Before you think how bad quality this DRO is, I need to tell you that it may be my fail, because I got problem with mill motor which was in short, so fuses and other safety devices hit out, because it got short to the ground, and I think it may damage my DRO also. This is new DRO I got from Banggood as warranty. It contains all new parts except the circuit board which I installed on old cut at scale. I just temporarily assembled together this scale, so first of all I mark where the wires is soldered and then complete disassemble them. So the cable is ok, and the reader is ok also, which is just for transmitter and for receiver diode. So I know that the problem is on circuit board, which is really simple, it only contains two trimmers, one capacitor, some SMD resistors and the IC. I think there can't be other problem than the IC, LM339N, it's quad voltage comparator. I bought on eBay 10 pieces for a single dollar, so let's replace the IC and see if the problem was gone. When we remove the chip make sure that all the holes are clear and clean the board before install new one. Here we need to be careful so we turn them on the right way and then just solder back on. The wires are melted a bit, because I already soldered them a few times, so I shorted them and soldered quickly before the insulation melted. When I got every wire solder in its place, I can assemble linear scale back together. I'm so sure that I solved the problem with replacing the IC that I don't even make a test before fully assembly. But let's check if that's true. Yep, just plug and voila, it works. Awesome, I fixed the linear scale for exactly 10 cents. I hope that video helped you if you got the same problem, I just store mine for spare parts. That's it for today, thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.